What's going on guys? Blazing Tech here and it feels very good to be back. So I have not posted a YouTube video in about three months. My last video was a collaboration with Mr. Tree Penguin and we unboxed some blind boxes and that was really fun. But now I'm back. Um, I got really busy with school and stuff. I'll save that for another day but I just want to get right into this. Um, funny story, my buddy Devin, and then again, thank you Devin for letting me borrow these. I really appreciate this. Um, I probably wouldn't have pulled out my camera and stuff and started filming this if you hadn't let me borrow these. So, you guys thank Devin, my buddy, for letting me borrow these. So anyway, Devin walks into Jazz Band and he's got these guys on his head and they just look wicked cool to me. Um, um, I'll show you right now, but they've got the Panasonic branding on the top, and I was just going crazy because you guys know me, I'm an audiophile, and I just had to take a look at them. And I asked him nicely, I told him, dude, can I please review those on the channel? He actually let me try them out, and I'll get, I'll get to that in a little bit, the sound quality, but... Let's just talk about the box to begin with. Um, I'm going to try and keep this a little bit shorter. I know some of my friends don't really like it when I talk about the box the whole time. So uh, to start out with me personally and my dad, my dad's raised me to believe that um, Sony is the way to go for everything. Um, it goes like car wise. Sony would be Honda, and then Panasonic would be Nissan. Um, Panasonic is still a good brand, but it's not quite Sony. So, um, that's just kind of how I see it. But I really like these guys. So, this model in particular is the Panasonic HT480. So, these guys are really nice. The box is actually really nice. It reminds me of a Beats box. Um, on the side, here's just some brand... Um, here's just a little bit of writing on here. We've got some reading, um, some writing. I don't know if you guys want to read that, but this is what really kind of draws my attention. Um, with this model, they're pushing um, urban and style type headphones, but they're still delivering a very strong bass and a good overall sound quality experience. So that's a good thing. Um, it's got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. I don't know if it's detachable. I'll check on that right now. But on the other side of the box, this just shows what is in here. Um, they're foldable. Um, they're kind of like a DJ style headphone and it comes with a carrying pouch. So let's just open this box right up. Sorry if I keep getting the focus a little bit weird, but I'm messing around with different settings in my phone now. Anyway, the box itself is a very nice foam. Um, I didn't see how he put this in here, so I'm going to be extremely careful. Okay, so here are the headphones themselves. These are the Panasonic. I think they were the HT480s, yes. Here's the carrying case, nice Panasonic carrying case. And that was it for the box. So let's move the box and get right into the headphones themselves. Case is really big, I mean, just look at how this thing folds out. You just fold up your headphones and then put them in here. Um, I don't think that my buddy has used this, so I don't want to use it. This is brand new. Just fold that up and keep it nicely. It's a very nice bag. Not a lot of um, headphones come with that anymore, unless you pay top dollar. Here are the headphones themselves. Um, uh, yeah, these are the HT480s. So, to me, these guys look really cool. I mean, they're rocking that um, gray and orange, and then they've got that brown leather type 
headband and I think that's really cool and they've got that Panasonic branding at the top I think that's cool um, yep and then these are a swivel design so you can just swivel these out like a DJ style headphone and comfort wise you can just adjust these up and down and yep these things are very comfortable I tried them out yesterday um, I'll show you how they look on my head, but they cover the entire ear. These guys are definitely over ears. Um, this says HGS. I do not know what that stands for. Um, just Panasonic here, left and right. And here's the audio cable. Um, let's see. How did he pack this up for me? Here we go. The cable isn't that long. I mean, you can probably run this down to your pocket. On the box, it says that they are hmm, 1.2 meters. So, that's okay. I mean, that's three and a half feet. Or almost four feet. That's okay. But it's got that nice control talk. That's a good thing. Um, you can't detach these, so you can't take the actual 3.5 millimeter headphone jack off. So if anything unfortunately was to happen, you would be pretty much done with these. So let's move on to sound quality. Alright guys, so durability wise... These guys, um, I don't think that they could withstand that much stress. I mean, even if I put a little bit of tension on the band, I don't want to put too much. That's kind of stretching it a bit. That's just a little bit of force. But these guys are kind of like really swivelly and they're loose. Um, I don't know how old this particular set of headphones are, so I don't know. I wouldn't want to know I wouldn't want to tell you because I really don't know but another thing that I noticed on this particular model is that on my friends is that the um, um, our little remote here control talk doesn't work so that might have something maybe my friend did something or maybe something else happened maybe that was a problem from Panasonic it's end but I don't know I should I should have tested it and asked him but sound quality wise guys um, these are noise isolating and I've got to tell you these are amazing I mean they hit the low notes for me it's a little bit weak bass at low volumes but as soon as you crank it up the bass is really good like it full blast on my iPod classic my ears were rumbling and I could really feel the bass from these speakers. I mean, if you look at it, thing's huge. I don't know if you can see it. Um, I can see it, but the driver itself is huge. And I mean, look at these cups. They're massive. They're very comfortable. They're really cushiony, if you can see I do this. Just put my hand on it. It goes right back. Nice and cushiony. So... The headband is really comfortable too. Um, there isn't much play in that, so if I put a little bit of pressure on there, it'll go just back, right back down. I could see easily wear these headphones for maybe like nine, ten hours. I mean, I I see no problems in doing it. And just the design, guys. I mean, these headphones are wicked cool. I think they they look really cool to me. Um, would I recommend these? Hell yeah. The, uh, the, for the price? So I did a little bit of research on Amazon and the cheapest I saw this particular model was 45 bucks. This is a steal. I mean, I my first pair of serious headphones was were the Sony MDR V55s and I paid 99 for those and those are on the ear and those are really good 
Um, these blow those out of the water. I mean, well, not out of the water, but uh, obviously these are gonna sound better since I mean, look at look at the driver. These speakers are huge. These do sound a lot better, and these get a lot more bass than my MDR V55s for about half the price. So, I mean, the if you really have to get this color combination of, I think it's cool, what is this, like gray, orange, and brown, the street urban colors, um, that's 45, but if you go for the silver or the black, that's 32. I mean, it just keeps getting cheaper and cheaper. Um, the most expensive pair I've seen on there is about 149 Even for 149 I think this is a good deal. Um, would I buy these? Yes, I would definitely buy these. If I would even take these over my Beat Studios. I mean, the bass is good. I mean, I say, I say that on a lot of different headphones. But I, I got those studios back when I didn't really know much about headphones then. I was in 8th grade, so Beats, 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 <clears throat> Beats was a rage. If I could go back in time, I would definitely take a pair of these over my Beats. Or, yeah, I would take these over my Beats any day. These are a great set of headphones. Um, and let me show you what they look like on my head. So here are the headphones on my head. And they're very comfortable. Another gripe that I forgot to talk about was that the headband itself doesn't have notches, so I'll show you that right now. Um, I can shake these, and they won't come off, and they're very comfortable. It's hard to believe that I'm wearing a pair of headphones right now, and I mean, it's really good. I love it. So, I'll just take it off and show you my gripe. It doesn't have those notches, so you'll never get it exactly perfect. I mean, they kind of got it, but I don't really like it. Another plus is it's made out of that nice metal I like on headbands. On this side, anyway, but on this side, it's plastic. But it's got that metal reinforcement, so I think it should be fine. I don't think that these... Well, since it couldn't take much, I think you could break these pretty easily. But if you take care of your stuff, and I mean, if you use... Your handy dandy little pouch here, you should be okay. So, just a couple little gripes, but I mean, if you can pick these up on Amazon for 45 bucks, you really can't complain. All in all, guys, these Panasonic HT 4800s, or 480s rather, sorry about that. I haven't had much practice saying the name. But all in all, I would really recommend these to anybody who wants to get into some entry to advanced level headphones. I mean, these things are killer. I like them a lot. I'm actually thinking about picking myself up a pair just because they're that good. Um, from Panasonic too. Panasonic is a known brand. They've been around since, I don't even know, but probably like 60s, maybe even 70s, I don't know. But these headphones are great. On a 10 point scale, because of those small gripes that I had, I would give these guys a solid 8 or 9. I mean, for the price of $45, you really can't go wrong. I mean, if, even if you don't like this color combination, you can get the white or the black for 30, 33 bucks. Um, you can't go wrong for that price. I'll leave that link down below. If you're watching this in the future, um, I would still get these if these were like about 150 I would get them I would get them all day long they're a good set of headphones but for 45 that's a real steal so I hope this helped you out guys and I'm really sorry that I have been missing my videos and it feels fun to be back and I hope that I can make one more video this weekend so stay tuned for that but thanks guys catch you on the next one